Hello, today we're going to talk about limited liability and when is it that you actually need limited liability? A lot of people think you just need to jump into it and you've got to have a limited liability company in order to protect yourself. My name is James, I'm the founder of TrustR and we're going to take this apart. So what is limited liability all about? Limited liability is so that you have protection from an asset that can cause physical injury to somebody. So if you have an apartment building, you have an automobile, a truck, you have heavy equipment, those are the situations where the asset can actually cause physical injury and send people to the hospital or to the doctor. And that's really the, the time that you need that limited liability. Now, keep in mind also that we have outside liability and we also have inside liability. So that outside liability is in the event that something happens on that property that you are protected, your investment is protected, they're not going to come after you personally. But also remember that if you have an accident on the way to school or on the way to work or anything, uh, a, a personal business, if you will, that's not going to have any impact, if you will, on the limited liability that you have for that, that dangerous business asset, if you will. So you've got outside liability, you also have inside. Now also remember, and that is if you do have any kind of dangerous equipment, the first line of defense is that you're going to have some type of insurance policy, liability insurance. Some people think that you automatically are going to be in the Supreme Court, you know, fighting this all out, spending years in court, spending lots of money on legal fees and hours of time. But it doesn't really happen that way. You know, your liability insurance is going to take care of you at the first go around. And here's the other thing is that I know people that have had apartment buildings for 20 and 30 years. And so you'd think that that would be a big liability issue. Well, certainly it can be but they take care of the properties and they take care of the tenants. And so they're responsive to who their customers are. So nothing really ever gets out of control. Now, there are situations where people will just make a lot of noise and they get an attorney and they just want to, you know, take a swing at you. Well, those things happen too. But most of the time, you know, things are going to work out okay. The liability insurance is going to take care of you. Now, here's another situation uh, to think about. Uh, maybe you have a brokerage account, you have a bank account, you're doing some contracts with someone. And so those are what I call paper assets. Now, those are not assets that can actually injure people. You know, if you've got a bank account, you've got a trading account, you've got a Bitcoin account, how is that really going to cause physical injury to somebody? Well, it really can't. Um, I mean, somebody could sue you if you had a dispute with an investor or somebody you're doing business with, but that's completely separate. So keep in mind that there's different types of assets, there's different types of liability. That's just something to keep perspective on. Now, the other part of it is that the business organizations that are popular that we know about, the corporations, the LLCs, and in our case, the business trust, any of them can provide you with that limited liability, that outside limited liability. Now, the difference, of course, between the corporations and LLCs versus the business trust is that you've got the secretary of state involved in those, whereas uh, with the business trust, you do not. So that's just a little background on what limited liability is all about, and I hope that that helps you guys, and we'll be back to you on another video. All right, take care.